My name is Gary Golden. I'm a professional futurist based in Brooklyn, New York. One, one of the, the potential gaps that I see in, in the world of, of arts education and arts experiences is that uh, young people are being exposed to a whole set, an ecosystem of tools to create and share art. Uh, and teachers and instructors, and in many cases artists themselves, uh, are not always as well versed in these tools. So we have young people that are uh, uh, yearning to create using uh, a set of tools that uh, their teachers uh, don't know how to use. So that is one potential gap and, and an opportunity uh, uh, for educators to, to learn more about uh, these new uh, ecosystems for creativity. Teach, teachers are going to need to become learners themselves and uh, uh, I think it's important to recognize that uh, teachers will need to unlearn things and uh, change habits that uh, uh, may have been more relevant to the past classroom environment. Uh, and I, what I think they need to start doing today is uh, follow the conversation. So how we become effective guides for 21st century learning uh, is a very dynamic uh, unfolding conversation. Uh, and what we've seen over the past few years is the emergence of uh, national and international uh, platforms for these conversations on places like Twitter and uh, 21st and 21st century education uh, Ning social network sites. So there are probably a dozen or so places for you to participate in this conversation about what it means to be a teacher in the 21st century. It's all about finding the right environment that works for you. And if we want to look for uh, uh, individuals themselves, there, there are a number of uh, kind of emerging uh, leaders within the world of, of education. Uh, Salman Khan, leader of the Khan Academy, uh, which has a vision of flipping the classroom uh, and allowing students to learn at their own pace uh, by uh, using video and web-based tools of instruction at home and then going into the classroom and doing the uh, traditional homework together once everyone is on the same page. Uh, Salman Khan is, is, is a leader within this uh, new thinking about the future of education and teaching. Uh, follow him and then understand who are the people that are following Salman Khan and that will be the door that opens you up to a list of, of uh, uh, leading edge thinkers. So I, I think it'll be important for teachers that want to uh, become learners in, in these new tools for creativity uh, to expand their own uh, peer and social networks that they need to uh, meet with professionals in their local communities. They need to be able to find people online that can offer them a different perspective of, of, uh, uh, of a career in the creative arts. So how teachers uh, network with other people that are not teachers is going to be very important for their own professional development. Follow smart people. That's always my uh, you know, mantra to people. Find individuals that challenge you. Find people that are informed and passionate about a particular topic that you don't know a lot about and then start following those people. That's the best way to learn. And experiment. Teachers can pull together a small group of, of their colleagues and pick a set of five tools that, that young people may have brought to their attention and take a month and have that small group of teachers uh, create their own projects, right? Create their own portfolio and keep it close to heart. Don't, you know, don't feel obligated like they need to show uh, what they've done, but in that small group setting, uh, they can experiment with these tools and learn, learn more about them. I always recommend, regardless of the profession, to, uh, to consider your professional development by attending another industry conference. So if you are a teacher, go to a gaming conference. If you're a teacher, go to a, uh, you know, a graphic designer conference. Go to an event that will not have another teacher within 10 miles. Find a place where you can learn more about a different way of thinking uh, and that will help your own uh, personal professional development. The, 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 the typical response to you know, uh, kind of a, a call to arms to learn more is uh, I don't have time I don't have the budget, I don't have the resources, uh, which can be true in many cases, and we're, we're all, we all have busy lives. Uh, but we need to recognize uh, the risk of not changing. 
Uh, you know, changing is very difficult. It requires us to unlearn assumptions about how we think the world works or should work. Uh, but we need to find ways to create the time and to find that, that inner curiosity uh, and that passion that we expect our students to have about learning uh, and ourselves. Uh, for teachers to become learners is the most important thing that we can ask of them uh, moving forward.